Ladies and ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about patch 8.2 and more specifically, we're going to take a look at some of the armor from uh, Ashara's Eternal Palace, which is the brand new raid of patch 8.2. Uh, so in this video, we're going to check out the plate set. There are four variants of it. Obviously, the raid finder, normal, heroic and mythic. Uh, this is possibly a work in progress. I don't really know. You'll have, you'll have to wear that out throughout the video. But yeah, let's just jump straight in and take a look at the raid finder, normal and heroic colors. So obviously this normal heroic and raid finder set is, uh, you know, it's okay. It's got some funny little things to it. It's very uh, aquatic, as you'd expect from uh, the Ashara raid. And yeah, at the moment, actually, on the PTR, the helms aren't completely done on all the races. There's only a few races that the helm actually does work. The rest of the armor works absolutely fine on the rest of them. So instantly looking at the heroic set, for example, it's green and it's very aquatic, as I said, and it's got these kind of scales uh, across the whole thing below all of the actual armor itself, which is really cool. Uh, there are some 3D assets on here. There's um, some stuff on the arms, the belt buckle, and on the legs there. I love the plates on the legs. That's really cool. I'm sure that logo is something like Ashara's logo or something like that. Specifically, I don't know. The boots are pretty big as well, which is really nice to see. The Raid Finder obviously kind of looks the worst, in my opinion. It's like a brown and purple look. Um, not too fond of that and the normal one is the purple and silver look which I kind of like I think that looks okay so let's just break this down real quick the helm is yeah it's a little bit silly in my opinion I'm not the biggest fan of it it's got this kind of downward arrow in the middle there obviously representing possibly like an anchor or something like that and you can see the face through the armor there which is kind of nice I suppose uh, the shoulders are really cool they're pretty damn big uh, especially on like an orc or something like that they're pretty damn mean and big yeah so I do kind of like the shoulders they're the jewel layered shoulders and they actually sit quite nice on a lot of races. I'm not 100% if this set is completely finished. I feel like the chest kind of needs some 3D assets, at least on the Mythic set, it needs some 3D assets or something. It feels like it's kind of missing out in that aspect. But again, it could be finished with just not 100%. Uh, the set also does feature a cloak as well, which matches with all the colors, which is really nice. And uh, yeah, overall, looking at this set, it's okay. It's called the, the Naga Lord's Warplate, if you're wondering. And yeah, I, I mean, for a normal heroic and raid finder set, it's not the best. It's certainly, in my opinion, not as good as the Battle for Desire Law set for plate, but it's okay. And Again, it is sad to see that the class sets specifically are leaving, and this is going to be the set for the Paladins, Death Knights, and Warriors. But it is what it is, so with that being said, let's check out the mythic variant of the Naga Lord's Warplate. Okay, so this set is pretty intense, and it's definitely an upgrade from the previous set. So the helm works perfectly on all races as of the current build of the PTR, which is really good. Even Worgans and Torn, which is actually quite nice to see. Doesn't really mess it up too much, which is uh, really great. So this set does reuse the chest, legs, and boots from the previous set, obviously now giving it this gold variation, which, which looks really, really great, and these big glowing kind of orange parts throughout the set, which is awesome. The cloak is a hell of a lot longer than it was before, which looks really great in my opinion. Uh, you've got this brand new 
belt buckle, which is kind of an evolution of the previous belt buckle. Now got this bit dangling down from it, which looks great. Uh, the gloves have had a massive upgrade with these spikes coming out the sides there. Definitely an improvement off the previous set. And what I like about this set overall, it does genuinely look like a massive upgrade from the previous set because it uses very similar assets like with the gloves, but adds the spikes on there, which is really cool. And again, with the shoulders, the same shoulders as before, but with these massive fins on them and uh, the glowing orange once again and, sp and spikes on the ends there as well. Really do like the shoulders on this set. Uh, obviously, the helm is similar to the previous helm, but it's now filled in with these glowing eyes, which look awesome. Overall, the set kind of looks like a, a B-movie fish villain from like some old film or something like that. It's kind of, it's a little bit silly, but you can kind of tell where they got their inspiration from. And I, I think it's okay. I think the set is okay. But going back to Battle for Desire Law, I, I think that mythic set is a lot better than this set. Uh, but as I said, there is a chance that this is unfinished and there might be some chest assets being added in there, maybe some more glowing. But overall, as a set, I think it looks okay. And you can definitely do a lot of stuff with this if you wanted to just use the shoulders for something or maybe the gloves. So that is pretty much it, guys. Let me know down below what you think of the Naga Lords Warplay, what you think of the Raid Finder, normal, heroic, mythic set, if you think the mythic set does look mythic enough. I think it does need a few more 3D assets to really bring it out and make it look even more mythic than it already does. Obviously, the shoulders, gloves, and helm are a great addition nonetheless. So before I go, let's give a massive shout out to our amazing patrons, YouTube channel members, and Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. So leave a like on this video, guys, if you'd like to, and subscribe if you haven't also got a part of the Discord channel. We have over three fans members and a merch store over on Streamlabs. And I'm also now streaming on Twitch.tv slash MrGM if you want to check me out on stream. I've been streaming the PTR non-stop. Currently it's down, which is kind of sad, but yeah, we are streaming the PTR as and when it's up. Uh, all the time, doing all sorts of things. And uh, yeah, so if you want to check that out, Twitch.tv slash MrGM. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.